Welcome to the podcast about venture capital, where investors and founders alike can learn how VCs make decisions and reach conviction. Your host is Nick Moran, and this is The Full Ratchet. Welcome back to TFR for a special installment of Investor Stories. In this segment, the investors tell a story about some of the most odd and unusual situations they've ever encountered as investors. This is the segment called The Strange and Unusual. On today's special segment, we have Greg Sands of Costa Noa. Greg, what is the strangest, most unusual, or most memorable startup pitch you've received? (laughs) (laughs) So this is an old one. Someone wanted to do a digital advertising network in bathrooms. And so the there was a time where you know digital ad networks, including out of home digital ad networks, were a thing. And I literally got a pitch for peeonit.com. <laughs> I don't know if they uh, I hope I they didn't they, have cameras in there. <laughs> <laughs> Impressions. Oh, that's that's hilarious. On today's special segment, we have Ali Hamid of CoVenture and Crossbeam. Ali, what's the strangest, most unusual, or most memorable startup pitch you've received? So, so one of the things that I've always found is interesting is like um, startup pitches where we're being given like the, the moral wand of the world. And what I mean by that is, so like we've been pitched a couple of times to lending against churches. And, you know, churches have a hard time accessing capital because people don't want to lend money to build a church or lend against a church because what happens if the church defaults? Am I going to be the guy, like, is a guy named Ali Hamid going to go default on a church? Like, no, I would never do that. That's an insane thing for morally, for the community, for my career. Like, it's like, it would be like the craziest thing in the world. But if, if I don't do it, nobody else does it, then churches end up not getting enough capital. They have to lend, borrow at higher rates. And isn't that even worse? And so I think the things that are really interesting are the ones that are really complicated, uh, where there's no right answer. And so hopefully one day we earn the right to do things like that. And we come with a point of view or we find people who have the right point of view. But I remember that being one of the ones where I thought, shoot, like there's not, I I just didn't know the right answer at all. And I still don't. On today's special segment, we have Tim Draper. Tim, what is the strangest, most unusual or most memorable startup pitch you've received? Strangest thing. I always think of this guy who, who brought me a flying saucer and he, he shows here he is in the flying saucer with his head sticking out and he's erased his legs. So it looks like it's flying. Pretty funny. Um, but <laughs> I don't know. What was the question? The worst pitch? Uh, the strangest or most unusual pitch oh, you've strangest. received. Well, the, I think I had a, I had a fun pitch. Um, I backed Justin TV and they turned into Twitch and they became a big, huge success. And one of the four founders of that came to me with a self-driving car. And the, and he said, oh, come on in, we'll go for a demo. I said, okay, this is great. We go for a demo ride and everything's fine. We're, sort of moving along a, a windy road and it's everything's fine. And then we come to an intersection and for some reason, the car just takes a sharp left turn right into traffic. And um, what's funny is that that was the moment I decided to invest because I thought that's easy. That's just software. We'll figure that out. But the rest of it, it's funny. I, I, I wasn't really thinking the smooth part of the ride was the, was the best part. The best part was that it hasn't been fully invented yet. It's going to be hard <laughs> to do. And uh, fortunately, we didn't get hit by a car. <laughs> you survived yeah. and you invested. Amazing. That will conclude this installment of Investor Stories. If you're enjoying the program and would like to see it continue, take a moment and leave a five-star review in iTunes. Also, if you'd like updates on new content from TFR, as well as the top 10 VC articles every week, go to fullratchet.net and sign up for the newsletter. 
Okay, that will wrap things up for today. Until next time, over-prepare, choose carefully, and invest confidently. Thanks for joining me.